What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play StarCraft 2. Let's see what we got here on the uh, the mission thinger. Let's see, we got Dead Man's Port, we got Haven, and we have Tyridor. Eight, not seven, eight. Uh, let's go with Haven. Almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from. Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Well, that's not good. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Kentaro Tassadar, James Raymore. I am Executor Salendis. Your bravery and service to Ire are known to us. Well, that's helpful. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission, so they are infected after all. Jim, some of my people are infested, but you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay. I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure really? for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raymore. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. Well, okay then. So, uh, we have another one of these choosy missions. Um, it doesn't matter too much which one you choose. You get uh, two different missions, but they're actually very similar. Uh, and the only difference, uh, aside from you know a little bit of a scene that doesn't affect anything down the road, the only real difference you get is Zerg research versus Protoss research. Uh, and I, I'm going to be fine on either research either way. But I'm a little bit lacking on Protoss research at this point, so I'm going to purify the colony. I'm so sorry, Ariel. But the executor's right. Believe me, they wouldn't have come all the way here if their data wasn't conclusive. Call off your fleet to lend us. This is a Terran thing. I do it myself. What? This isn't right. I thought you were a better man than this, Jim. Oh, she's Ariel. pissed. If there was a cure, you would have found it by now. The only thing we can do is put an end to this once and for all. I won't accept that. Every one of my people can be saved. I'm close to finding the cure. I know it. Honor to you, James Raynor. You were ever a true friend of the Protoss. Although this work is painful for you, many more lives will be saved by your actions this day. Well, I mean, at least... The Protoss are happy. We've all laid it on the line for these folks more than once. But there's only one way we can help them now. We've got to save the ones we can. And kill the rest. I know it's terrible. But if we wipe out these infested settlements, we'll save the whole damn planet from being overrun. Sounds good. A little fire won't cure. Not a ground to cover, though. We ain't got enough troops to be everywhere at once. Don't worry about it. Swan's already got that covered. Oh, really? Had to call in a few favors to get the schematics for these babies. You owe me big time, cowboy. Don't forget, these bad boys can switch between air and ground mode anytime you need them to. Those Vikings will make all the difference. But it looks like some of the infested colonists are turning already. And those structures are infesting more of them. That's, That's inconvenient. Infestation source detected. Sir, that virophage structure is spreading the Zerg virus to the colonists. So, let's kill it. all the virophages. The more of them there are, the more 
more infested, we'll have to fight. And we don't really want that. Detecting some large Zerg flyers. They match the reported profiles for brood lords. Be careful. They're lethal against ground targets. Then we'll hit them from the air. Where are my Vikings at? So, as uh, they would have you believe, the key to this mission is Vikings. Stay sharp. I want anyone that leaves the ship wearing a suit. Last thing I need is more people getting infested. So, first things first. They infest Marines too, brother. We're gonna get our uh, economy underway, start building some SUVs. You can see here I dropped uh, a mule, which is something we can do now with our orbital command. Mules will harvest minerals uh, very quickly for you. Or rather, they bring in a lot of minerals in a single run. So now what I want to do is get all my Vikings. I should hotkey my starport. Start building... Oh, whoops. Did I build... I accidentally built a tech lab. That's not good. Okay, well I want a reactor, so let's build one on our factory. But for now, let's bring our Vikings over here and start shooting these Broodlords. Broodlords, as they said, are ridiculously good against ground units, so we'll, we want to make sure to take them out from the air. And by kind of moving forward between uh, missile shots, that means that we have less uh, downtime between them. So kill all the air units that can actually attack us, so let's land our Vikings. Let them finish off the uh, air things there. Been not very good at keeping up with my economy here. Uh, I was going to build a bunker, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Okay, so they're done over here. So let's return our guys over here. Build a bunker down here, actually. So now let's lift up these buildings. Let's lay on the starport over there where the reactor is. So that way, with a reactor, we can build two Vikings at once. Yeah, let's, might as well build a tech. Actually, no, let's not build a tech lab. Let's just put this uh, barracks on the tech lab that I already built over there. Build two Vikings at a time. Now let's take this group of Vikings and see if we can do anything with them. Oh, those are hydralisks. Don't want to deal with those. So maybe not deal with anything over there quite yet. Did I not land that properly? Jeez. I'm actually not doing very well at all here. Build some supply depots. Let's also build us an armory, which we can use to uh, get some upgrades for our Vikings. these guys in there, and might as well build another bunker up here as well. I'll build a single medic. I never hotkeyed my command center, did I? thought I did. I guess not. And let's build a... actually no, let's not build a barracks. Let's just uh, get some more pigs. Look, there's another colony right here. Don't actually need to kill those things. Oop. Mutalisks. So, let's get some more pigs over there. The 
infested or heading to a settlement in the south. Okay, well let's go uh cut them off. Have our two little groups converge. So I take out those mutilisks. Let's go for actually no, let's not go for the brood lords because there's more mutilisks that can actually attack our air units. I'll cook with a little careless, I lost a Viking. Not the end of the world. Kill that food lord. Now let's land. Get some more supply depots. And let's start getting ship ship weapons level one. Drop some mules. That was too close. Thanks. Sir. Stedman says Dr. Hansen has locked herself in the lab, alone. She's desperate to save her people. I'm worried about what she might do. Well, we'll worry about that when we're done here. So I'll get some SCVs over here to uh, repair up all my Vikings. Let's actually build a second armory so we can get two upgrades at once. Enough energy for another mule. Where are all these idle SCVs? Oh, they're the repairing dudes. We have to queue up more Vikings. Okay. Come back down here again. And uh, let's get an SCV to patrol between these two bunkers. Just uh, repair if anything need it, needs repairing. And build another starport so we can increase our Viking production. Uh, let's build some more supply depots just so we don't forget later. Now. Yeah, that should be fine. Gonna find somewhere to land. Up here, our new starport. Okay, let's get ship weapons level 2 and ship plating level 1. Okay, looks like we're good down here. So, lift off. And let's go back to base for some more repairs. Looks like we're probably quite good on SCVs at this point. Let's put a reactor on this starboard and start building Vikings out of this one again. Wait, what? Why is there still a thing down here. I guess this base isn't quite as done as I thought. Might as well call down more war pigs. Two down here, two up here. Ouch, that was a bane lane. They do lots of uh, splash damage to ground units. Oh, geez, uh, mutilisk. Sir, another settlement is being infested by the Zerg. Okay, well, it's more important to get to that settlement than it is to continue. I don't need more SCVs. To continue uh, working on that base down there that I was working on. Because if we can get it early, then it's uh, not going to be any threat to us. Not going to have the chance to like build up an army or anything. Take out the mutilisks. Take out the brood lords. Now I can just land. Put these to our control group. And. That's all done. I knew Raynard save us. Very well. 
New York time. Keep building those supply depots. Start getting ship plating level 2. Got a couple of SCVs over here to help repair. Okay, and I guess we can only go up to level 2 ship weapons in this mission. Are you done? This guy's kind of not done being repaired. There you go. Okay. Now let's go back down there. Get you guys back to work. Drop another mule. Now what the heck, let's get another starport. Okay, get them into a nice open area so they have land to ro room to land. Clear out this base real quick like. Okay, that's good now. Now let's head them over to this base. How's the starport doing? Let's add a reactor onto it and hotkey it. Looks like we came upon uh, another group of guys here. Okay, uh, let's kill this crew load. Uh, might as well land and... Okay, well landing was probably a bad idea because there's another brood lore here that I didn't notice. And that there is a spore colony, or a spore, spore crawler. That will shoot air, so we want to be careful about that. Are there any actual air units in here? Doesn't look like it, so let's just land and... We'll be fine. Good on upgrades. Might as well get some mules in here. Move these guys up a little bit so that uh, they're actually all shooting stuff. Oop, these guys came in, so let's land them too. No, I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Good job, sir. Okay, that base is done with. More concentrations of Zerg biosignatures. Put all of our Vikings right here. Actually, let's take these guys that are nearby and. Is there anything even here? Looks like it's just buildings. Okay, well, let's get these guys over there then. And grab a bunch of SUVs to repair them up. Settlement has been cleared of Zerg biosignatures. So, Pidoki. A lot of Vikings. Okay. Group all our dudes up. Send you guys. Well, I don't want to send the one that's patrolling. Okay, well, we just got that guy. I'll send them over there. Put you guys back to work, call some mules. 
Okay, well, it's actually to land. So we can actually kill the stuff that's attacking us. These guys apparently didn't are too cool to land. There we go. I ran out of su supply. Sir, the infested are closing in on a settlement to the north. Well, let's finish this place off first. Since we're here, and it sh really shouldn't take long with this many Vikings. Okay. Lift off. Make our way over this way. Let's group ourselves up. The idea with grouping ourselves up is so that all the Vikings shoot uh, fairly close to each other, rather than having like a uh, take having to take time to like reposition and stuff between shots. Kill off the broodlord, land, and that should be that. Sir, it's done. I'm not detecting any more Zerg, but we have a problem in the lab. Oh. Well, that's not good. So, the longer you take in that mission, the more colonies and stuff will pop up, so speed is kind of of the essence, but it's more important, I think, to kind of minimize your losses, so build up a fleet that can actually take on what you're trying to do before you do anything else. So let's see what's going on back home. It's like uh, Rainer's ready for the worst. You in here? Matt, seal all access points. Zerg DNA detected, huh? Well, it's good to see you too. That's uh, pretty creepy. Now she's dead. I guess it's done. Now who gets to clean up the mess? But anyways, with that, I leave you here for today on Let's Play StarCraft 2. Catch you later!